So I think the time has come to take down this loan from the Mythical Sausage Collection and perhaps return it to its rightful place. <laughs> Sabra's artwork has been up here for a little while and I finally have something else I want to put in the museum. And I do have a spare item frame over here, but I think I'm going to save that for a recovery compass or maybe the music disc from the ancient city kind of goes with that exhibit. And I have something to put in its place that I want to have pride of place here in the museum because, friends, I finally have it. The block I've been looking for for the last, well, basically the entire season. And I have two of them. We have two. Deep Slate Emerald Ore. I can literally hold one in both hands. And that is the result of, frankly, a spot of luck that I ran into whilst tracking down one of our new guests. I've been trying to find opportunities to track down and collaborate with a bunch of the hermits now that they are here and doing their thing. And so what you're going to see in this video is a whole bunch of different clips with the hermits that I've been able to run into so far, including the origin of this Deep Slate Emerald Ore, which I am told there is more of, so I might be going and getting some more of that a little bit later, perhaps even on the off chance that I can trade for the micro block Deep Slate Emerald Ore with a wandering trader that happens to swing past. But this is going to be coming down because I want the Emerald Ore to be the first thing you see when you walk in to the museum, and to be honest, a little bit of behind the scenes stuff here, this is quite clearly a texture pack, there's only a limited amount of paint paintings that you can retexture before they start to overlap and I didn't want to have to distribute this texture pack to absolutely everybody who comes by the museum. So thank you so much Flower of Laurelin for that incredible artwork. It will remain forever part of the series but for now I'm going to take down this display case and build a new one here for the Deep Slate Emerald. And while I'm doing that we're going to roll the clips of me running into Corallis, Joe Hills and Impulse SV this week. Uh, hello? Is there someone up there? S Sir Pixelot? <laughs> is 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 that the silky voice Sir of Corallis? Where are you? <laughs> I'm here. I just went through the portal to see this place. Oh my! I uh, oh. First question. First f first question. Hi, sir. Hi. Do you know Do you know what YouTube is? <laughs> I've I've heard of it. Might have heard of it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Because nobody else on the server seems to know anything <laughs> about YouTube, Twitter. So I'm a little bit confounded. Okay. Right. But hi. Yeah. 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 Hi. How you doing? Welcome to the ancient capital. This is This is my my place. I've been touring the server quite a bit today. And everything on the server is is beautiful. This including, it's just magical being here. <laughs> Can you show me around? What you holding? This is a little block in your hand. I got I got some target blocks. I'm working on some redstone stuff in the basement. Very secret. Very uh, very kind of. It's I, it's only secret because I've done like maybe one tenth of what I actually need to do. But. <laughs> What is this place, Pixel, Sir Pixelot? So the whole deal with my empire is that I'm not really doing the storytelling stuff that everybody else is doing. They're telling stories that are happening now. I'm telling the backstory of the world. So this is all stuff that's happened in the past. Dude, you, this is do you you're like bubbles of of the empire server? <laughs> yeah, I have I have my moments. I have my moments. It's, oh, dude, you, you're you're very very flattering. Th that statue. Yeah. <laughs> wow. My pride and joy is over this way. So if you follow me. Oh wow. It's, it is even bigger than this, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, this, this whole savanna is basically what I'm transforming into the, the capital. So on this side Jeez. is like, this is like the farming district, basically. So I'm going to have loads of crop farms. I've got sugarcane growing over there and wheat fields and everything. But over there on the right hand side is my frog light orchard. <laughs> no, I yeah, see it now. <laughs> I have a farm in the nether for them, obviously, because that's where you have to get the frog lights. But I decided mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. for the lore of the world, they should basically grow on trees. Uh, so down. <gasps> Pixel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that blue? Can, can I get jumped out? Yeah, can I check, check that out. C come and have a look. One of the things people decided. What? My, my audience is... basically said, since you're bringing all this stuff back from the past, you should be riding around on like dodos. Um, so I had some people cook <laughs> some stuff up in the lab, and uh, this is the result. Can I club one? <laughs> you can't. You can't club. You've been playing too much Ark. You can't. You can't club my dodos. Yeah. These guys are rare. Okay, I'm not they, gonna touch them. Yeah, and and if this... you if you breed them, they kind of turn into weird horses. So let's not talk about that. But the, the, the rest of uh, the, these, okay, the gene pool yeah, skips yeah. a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You'll you'll find a few different people have horses that are a little bit different. Um, there's some people who ride oh, around on some wow. weird stuff. So uh, so this is this is my my flock. <laughs> Dude, nothing can beat a dodo. Yeah. Like I mean, this a dodo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What could it be better than riding? A dodo. They are very, Unless very you clap cute. it, of course, because <laughs> clapping is kind of cool. Pixel, how much would I be, be, like, I don't have, I don't have much money. 
Are they for sale? Well, on Empires, we don't really sell stuff so much as like trade <laughs> for things. So mm. I was wondering um, if you hmm? if you want to take one of these guys home, maybe seeing as we're right here by the orchard, maybe you come back and do a little bit of like farm work for me or something. Like I'd love to have like a little a little farmhouse sold. built around here or something. Yeah, yeah, you into you into that? Sold, <laughs> sold, sold, sold. Most definitely sold. Okay, and okay. I I can take a dodo, right? Want to take him for a test drive? <laughs> Like, I can't believe this. This is so cool. Yeah. I've got a dodo. The best part about it is if you walk near the other yeah. ones, there is like a little bit of a glitch with their animation. But if you walk around near them, some of them will move their legs. So it kind of looks like they're doing that thing birds do where they stamp the ground to get worms to come out. <laughs> they like, they do like a little this. side to <laughs> side wiggle. I, I love that so much. You know, I think the viewer is going to pick a name for this guy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Look at the little flap legs. Ah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so never seen anything better. This what is, is this? This is the museum, and inside oh, the museum, wow. I have a few different things. Uh, this is uh, the Orion Sounds mega base from his first episode, which uh, he came back and built a giant tent, and I decided to preserve his base. Uh, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's in a glass case. This is his original like starter house. Woody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the the little toy sheriff um, that I think Joel uh, Smallish Beans sells. Um, I got a few. <laughs> I love my emerald ore. This is my my one rule about th the way I conduct myself on this server is that you never break emerald ore. You never fortune emerald ore because you can just trade with villagers, right? You can just get emeralds any other way. True. So emerald exactly, ore, exactly. Emerald ore is super precious. So I try and like, I hoard it like a dragon. To preserve it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Preservation. It is precious. It is. You get it. Oh, um, wow, look at that. Yeah, obviously a few artifacts from the nether, a little bit of stuff from ancient cities. The pride and joy of the museum is this uh, fossil that is actually a legit diamond ore fossil that the sheriff found this is really cool so i know where to come when i run out of diamonds i guess right <laughs> hey, 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 hey. None, none of that like you, there's you, no there's no security there's not, not even any doors around this place yeah well maybe we can work on that we can maybe we can hire you as a security <laughs> guard and uh you know we'll we'll try and decide on a pay scale that means you don't end up taking the diamonds out of this thing but yeah <laughs> it, it might be a in case of emergency break glass kind of situation right is this the first mob i kill it might be oh the, <gasps> hey there you go we made history hey. right yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> outside that's the good. museum. Yeah, Perfect. that's good. That's good. If maybe, I could... maybe you want to keep, maybe you want to keep the, the, the drops from it and put <laughs> it in the museum. Obviously. <laughs> maybe I can do that in that empty item frame. It didn't by drop the door. anything. Oh, okay. There's, the, drop there's some rotten flesh oh, over is. here. We'll, we'll say we'll say that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, that's <laughs> fake. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole day has been excellent, but now this guy. Okay, obviously I need to build a, a, a farmhouse, but I take that. Where are you guys hanging out, by the way? What's the whole deal with, like... Uh, I'm at the sanctuary for a moment. So you might yeah. have quite a long journey on the dodo, so it might be better to go via the nether than... Uh, than by the oh, bridge. Oh yeah! Don't don't worry about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride the lance. All I'm right. gonna enjoy a scenic view of the of the whole empire, sir. Do Come I on. look amazed on my on my, on my, on my face? <laughs> yeah, I can tell in your face. Your eyes have been opened <laughs> to everything that's going on here. <laughs> I've I've seen stuff. Okay, this is a new experience for me on a dodo. So, oh, a pesky bird, even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, the the bridge stuff seems to have gone into a competition of like who can build the largest thing. <laughs> I think Joey is winning. Dude, like I am like this. This made my day. <laughs> Like, I hope he's, so. he's a, he's, he escapes a lot, but other than that, <laughs> yeah, they are, they are beautiful. They are escape artists. They'll uh, they'll learn to stick around you eventually. Okay, Pixel, thank you for the tour. I will be back to build a little farmhouse and once again, just an incredible place. <laughs> Thanks, Am I going man. the right way? <laughs> the wrong way. This way. Come okay, back. Okay, this way. <laughs> See you, Pixel. See you, Corrales. Thank you once again. Having tuned into his stream, I noticed Joe Hills was hanging out by the spawn lake getting killed over and over again by Drowned, so I decided to pay him a visit and offer a helping hand. Greetings, Traveller! Oh, hello! <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you were on the struggle bus. I thought I could draw your attention to the uh, statue of the goblin over there on the bridge. If you're in need of mm -hmm. food, there is pretty much always free pork chops there. Yeah, we got the goblin of grub, the sort of sanctuary. What's up with the water tower? I woke up in there earlier and I don't remember being named Yakko, Wacko, or Dot. <laughs> it's not quite the WB water tower. It's it's more like the no. water tower of Tumbletown, which is alliterative if you don't count the W. I won't. Uh, it'll just be the tower of Tumbletown. <laughs> Town from now on, the water is silent. Yeah, well, while we're talking on the subject of water, if you wanted to get your own back on some of these drowned, I might have a trident somewhere that I can I can lend you. I would really appreciate being lent a trident, but you know, if I could trade you for a trident, uh, let's see, I've got 
Ooh, how about 64 raw copper? <gasps> that actually might have value. Oh, that's that that's actually super valuable here. I am working on a copper aging machine right now that spreads out the copper for you so you don't have to place it by hand. So copper is actually really valuable to me right now. Oh, well, you know, I've actually got more copper down here in my little uh, mining base thing. You want to come see? Oh, you've set up a, a base camp. Nice. Also, just so you know, there is an angry warden down there. I would not wake <laughs> him up. <laughs> yeah, we've run into a few of those in our time. So yeah, probably best avoided. But no, thank you so much. I will go look at... Oh, yeah, wow, there's more. Okay, wow, that's that's really going. Well, tridents are the best, and copper is, you know, copper. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. That's cool. I, I will I will go away. I will mold this, tri this copper into a trident for you, and uh, I will be right back. While you're here, though, have a shield. <laughs> yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to give this a try. I saw that uh, these are apparently really good in the new, like, versions of Minecraft. I recommend it. I recommend it. All right, uh, I will be right back with your trident, uh, assuming I can find you somewhere around here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to be uh, planting some more trees down in this neighborhood. Nice one. So. Okay, be right back. Anyone at home? Hey, Pix, one second. I'm just down here doing some uh, underwater mining. Here you are. I have a Riptide 2 Trident for you. I'm afraid that's the best I could do what? in terms of enchantments. <laughs> but, yep, looks like you've got the hang of it. I love Riptide. Oh, boy, this shield, though, really just eats half my point of view. <laughs> yeah, I... the, the shield and the trident combo is not always the best, but you never see Aquaman carrying a shield, do you? No, no, that's Captain Aquamerica. You might want to get hold of some wings from somewhere, otherwise I can see you going splat real fast. But, you know, for all I know, there's a bunch of hermits running around with no wings. They might have already got to them first. Maybe, maybe, but uh, I'll keep an eye out for you, and if I see a spare set of wings, I will let you know. You know, is that copper machine you said you were working on, is that something that, that you're ready to show now? Once I remove this... Okay, that should activate the collection, and now all of the copper blocks will get collected down this side of the room. They're just getting stuck on the um, on the slime, slime. blocks. Yeah. And then they and it just pushes the whole thing. They arrive down the room attached to the two different arms of the flying machine. That is really, really smart. Good job, Pix. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Like a, a few people have looked around this now and everyone seems to be quite impressed by it. So evidently I'm doing something right. And you said this is not even decorated yet and you're going to have this like then look like some sort of creepy catacomb thing. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. So so this machine is supposed to have been here for a while. Like it's been installed by people who are now long gone. Uh, so the whole thing is going to be working, but it's going to feel like the area around it has kind of fallen into disrepair. Like nobody's been in here sweeping the floors, getting the spiders out of the corners, that kind of thing. Very Stargate Atlantis. Absolutely, yeah. If I hit this observer on this side here, if you watch the copper going down the room, each of those circuits will grab a copper block as the flying machine goes past. Wait, so it's... you. It's automatically reloading, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, so when I asked, like, do you have to manually place the new copper blocks, the answer is yes, but in a line right here, yeah. not walking down there. You, oh, wow. You, you centralize the whole process of placing and breaking the copper, and then it gets spaced apart automatically, so you don't have to do all of the tedious, like, walk four blocks, place another one, walk four blocks, place another one. That kind of stuff. This is spectacular. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's a, a feat of engineering that has now taken me about a year of study, but I'm, I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Good year. Even if you want to bring some copper down here and age it sometime for your own builds, then uh, as long as there's a, an empty line of the machine, you're welcome to use it. I, I would be terrified to try to turn <laughs> one of these things on myself. I'm, I'm going to aim to make it as user-friendly as possible. It's just figuring out the, the innards of the machine right now. It's like, I don't tend to work on cars or anything, but I'm fine mm -hmm. driving one. So I, I feel like if I can make that experience uh, work out for people here, then I'll have done my job right. Well, hey, if you need somebody to come in and test your instructions. <laughs> All right. I can be a far too literal person. I can take <laughs> those instructions and I can see what's the worst possible way to interpret this. Yeah, okay. I, I like that. I like that idea. You can you can see if my machine is uh, truly idiot proof. Or at least the instructions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, that sounds good, Joe. And uh, thank you so much again for the copper and hopefully you get some good use out of that trident. Should I show myself out? I don't know <laughs> yeah, way. you can. I think just, it was up here. Yeah, straight up there. And uh, if you take a a right and then a right again you should be back at the entrance this place does get a little maze like for people though oh no a catacombs that you can be lost or trapped in forever <laughs> like that's just a catacombs <laughs> yeah, pretty much pretty much <laughs>
Okay, I think I got it. Walk Thanks, towards Fitz. daylight. <laughs> see you soon, Joe. I see the light. Don't be a stranger. Bye. In another egregious moment of stream sniping, Impulse SV was caving and his inventory was getting full. So I figured I'd swing by and offer him a bundle. And on the way down, I noticed something that really caught my attention. Come back this way because I, I need you to see something. Um, there's, okay. Uh, I think it was back through this way. I kind of followed the route down and I got very, very distracted halfway down because I saw something. <laughs> I found something special? Mm-hmm. Uh, or, or maybe okay. like... Maybe well, you it, did. Maybe it escaped your attention, but it definitely caught mine. I think you placed a torch really close to it. Yes. Oh, yeah. I this, didn't even see that there. This is the rarest ore block in the game, Impulse, and you... <laughs> You came within two blocks of it. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'll zig it up right now. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have I, so touch. I, I have been... <laughs> you would be so mad. I have been looking for one of these for the entire season so far. Like, wow. you have no idea how important this is. <laughs> this is going in my museum. I'm not even kidding. Holy cow. Wow. What luck. What luck. That is my first time picking up a Deep Slate Emerald Ore, and I am... I mean, okay. I, I, I have one in another world, but I'm like, I'm so excited about that. I don't think wow. there's... There's a... Impulse, we can split it. There's another one. A double! You a can, double! And a triple, right. even! Oh my goodness. Okay, right. No way. It so, keeps going. <laughs> dwarven luck. With your Dwarven luck, I'm going to give you one of these as a symbol of our friendship. <laughs> Thank you. Thank and you. One of these is going to go in the museum, and the other one I set up ages and ages ago. I set up an emerald ore fountain that people can just throw emerald ore that they've silk touched into and get emeralds back. I've wanted to set up one for Deep Slay Emerald, but I need a Deep Slay Emerald to program the item filter. <laughs> and gotcha. up until now, I've never found one, so I could never make it. Now I can go away and make the Deep Slay Emerald Fountain, and I'm I'm so excited. So cool. Nice. How did you possibly see that? That uh, was dude, crazy. I, my, my brain is, like, hardwired for this stuff. Like, I, I, <laughs> you, you don't even know. Like, I, my head is on a swivel every time I'm on Deep Slay wow. levels, and this happens to be directly underneath a meadow biome, which is one of the mountain sub-biomes. So you can find gotcha. Emerald down here, and I was just, oh, I was over the moon. <laughs> I needed to share this moment with you. <laughs> that is awesome, man. I'm glad I can somewhat be of assistance there. There you go, that Dwarven Lux stack I, You know off. what? I, like, if, if you didn't say anything, thing and I saw it like there is a chance I would have just regularly like just dug it up with my regular pick uh -huh, and you uh -huh. would have been like and this is bombing so hard and this is why I exist <laughs> this is my entire yeah. my entire role on the server preserve <laughs> rare things like this mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. yep yep and you got you must have cameras everywhere you're watching over all of us <laughs> yeah, to make sure got, we... <laughs> the, the CCTV is rolling from every corner yes yeah um, yeah, yeah, yeah but uh no I'm so, I'm so happy nice. I, I followed you down here just to give you that bundle but I saw that out the corner of my eye and my brain just went zing and now I have two deep slate emerald ore in my inventory thank you so so That's much awesome. <laughs> you are you are welcome you're very welcome I appreciate the uh the bundle technology too yeah yeah I, no, I was I was getting real real bad there uh I gotta hop off but good luck with your mining <laughs> yeah, yeah um I'm, I'm thanks Looking forward to seeing what the hermits are cooking up here, because uh, I see I see space clearing up on this hilltop. I see some stuff getting put yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna be settling in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll have uh, some goods. Yes. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to trading, but uh, in the meantime, yeah, keep your head on a swivel and uh, watch out for those creepers. All right. Will do. Thanks. And there it is, the first Deep Slate Emerald Ore added to the museum. But the second, as I said in that little clip with Impulse, I'm going to turn into the catalyst for my Deep Slate Emerald Ore Fountain, the twin of the Emerald Ore Fountain that's already installed over at the Great Bridge. I honestly haven't checked on this for a while, actually. I don't know if people have really been using it because I didn't really make much fanfare about it at the time, and I don't know how frequently people actually find the... <gasps> oh my gosh, there are 19 in here? Oh my days. Well, hopefully the Deep Slate Emerald Ore one will be just as popular, especially if people are excavating around these parts. Impulse found at least one more that he's given me the coordinates to so I can go out and find that myself, but there may be opportunities to get even more of the rarest ore block in the game. And so we're going to set up the Deep Slate Emerald Ore Fountain on this side of the bridge, perhaps down here, kind of in the mirror of the spot that the other Emerald Ore Fountain is placed in, sort of around here. And this one is going to give out different things. It's not just going to give out emeralds like the other one does, because these are worth far more to me than just basic emeralds. No, this one, I'm thinking we need to have it give out really valuable stuff. Like, I'm thinking block of netherite kind of valuable, or like a fully enchanted diamond pick. I'm thinking just one item at a time, though, instead of multiple items. Otherwise, it would spit out a bunch of really cool rewards. I'm thinking just one really fantastic thing that you'd happily exchange 
the rarest ore block in the game for. And in the meantime, I have been doing some work on David 4.0 down here. I've got three of these rows all done. I'm working on the timing of the retrieval mechanism and the fact that each of these droppers needs to receive a certain amount of redstone pulses in order for the system to reset and be able to count the next set of copper blocks when they come through. And that's taking a little bit of time, a little bit of trial and error. Some of the timing is slightly different to in my single player world, so we're probably going to have to do some more experiments, but I think we are close to tracking down that elusive solution. So while I'm clearing out the spots to install the Deep Slate Emerald Fountain and probably going to collect a few prizes for it, let's go to another couple of clips in which I ran into both Cubfan and Gemini Tay. Hi Pix. Oh, hi Gem. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at you. Some stylish, uh -huh. mm -hmm. stylish eyewear going on. Uh, coolest butterfly around, right? right. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Broad pair for you as well. Oh, wow. There you oh. Go. That <laughs> you just, cool. just handing these out? Okay, okay. Um, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> they don't quite fit my eyes you know i've tried glasses on before they never quite seem to fit my head this is i feel like i'm the disapproving professor like looking down my nose at people <laughs> do you know what it's actually a good look for what i need you for i want your information pics have you uh -huh. met the new people I have, How yeah, the hermits. They're they're all over the place mm -hmm. at this point. And obviously, like I I knew about some of them beforehand, obviously, and um uh, I I guess you kind of did as well, right? Like they're your friends. Have you run into any of them yet? Yeah. Well, it, it's been a little bit awkward, you know. They they found out that I'm a princess, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> It's 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 been weird, Pix. It's it's been weird, but they're okay. They're all right. They're, yeah. Everybody's doing good. Yeah, like they okay. seem to be settling in pretty well. I think they've got plans for somewhere across the bridge. I've been seeing like a couple of farms going up and stuff. Like they're settling in. Maybe maybe we're seeing the start of a new hermit empire. My worlds are colliding. I'm not sure how I feel about this, Pix. It's very weird. Uh huh. They found uh -huh. out that I like LARPing. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you and me both, <laughs> right? Like the the first the first thing they've said to me is like, oh, hermit craft recap, and I'm like, well, my cover's blown. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, we're in it together. Uh huh. Now that I've given you the glasses, I wanted you to come see my brand new church build. And also, uh, I know we were doing a little bit of trading back and forth. You gave me some frog lights. I have more honeycomb if you need it. Yes, yes, would love some more honeycomb. And you had mentioned to me between off camera uh, that you uh, needed some stone. And I have just dug mm -hmm. out a massive room underneath my base. So I have more stone than I, I know that. what to do with right now. Even though I'm building with Perfect. stone. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I need to build a castle. It's not that big of a castle, but it's stone would be very helpful. <laughs> Um, Shall we go to Dawn? It's never that big of a castle, is it, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not great bridge big. I'll give you that. Yeah, this fair. Is yeah, there's, there's not there's not much I've built that this is, is this big. Um, yeah, I got a portal <laughs> up in the uh, the ruined tower at my place, so we can probably okay. get to the nether roof from there. Oh, this place looks cool. I haven't visited here in a while. Uh huh. Yeah, it's been it's been going together. I've obviously built a bunch of stuff around the server now too. So uh, yeah, like I haven't yeah. spent as much time on this area <laughs> as I wanted to, but I have a little frog light orchard growing over there, a little aqueduct and. There's, there's bits and pieces I'm working on. Oh, it's night. First rule of the church, uh, we always sleep. Yeah, yeah. No phantoms. <laughs> Very important. Yeah, I, I've been getting phantoms every so often because I feel like I'm always the last one to try and sleep or I'm underground or something. And then I come up and I'm like, ah, sky rats. Listen, you don't need those sunglasses at night. So so you better, you better be sleeping. <laughs> uh-huh. I met Apollo for the first time last time I was here as well. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Isn't Apollo perfect? Absolutely. And like the little saddle and everything, it looks so royal. I love uh -huh. it. I love them. Oh, and without the saddle, it's I, so cool. I, I, I honestly, so fluffy. I honestly think seeing you riding a bear wearing sunglasses is possibly the coolest thing I've seen all week, Jem. I am the coolest thing you've seen all week. Mm -hmm. I'll have you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's a lot of people on the server. It's hard competition. And there's some honey blocks in there as well if you need it. Oh, now, if there's amazing. not a ton in there yet, because I think the server render distance maybe might be affecting that. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. It wasn't getting AFK'd while I was building the church. Either way, if you need more, um, come up and get it in that barn whenever you need it yes perfect i will definitely need some because uh yeah i've got a lot of copper stuff going on again i've done the copper thing again um in the meantime <laughs> i can i can probably dig into my ender chest and i think i have a shulker box of stone that i can give you as like you know there we go down payment on on the honeycomb yay ah uh, yeah. oh, this is so good thank you thank you thank you yeah no worries so show me the church i'm excited to see it this is the lovely church that i've been working on every member of the church gets a pair of sunglasses as you now have they're a little ill <laughs> Fitting, but our main thing is that we make sure everybody is sleeping at night so that the server does not have any phantoms and mm -hmm. that we look very cool while doing it. I can get on board with that. I love the roof, by the way. Like, all of the gradients you do are just always fabulous. So, like, that's, Thank you. that's superb. 
I've been loving it. Now the interior is still a little bit of a work in progress, but I've done the thing where you make it look like a work in progress by putting scaffolding up. Nice. Yep. No, I, I can see that. <laughs> Vita set dressing. It's a, it's a building site. Like people immediately get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I do. I love the ceiling. Like I don't want to ever cover them up because yeah. they, just, they <laughs> yeah, look yeah. so cool. Like, I need to put some more frog lights up there. It's sometimes so hard to get color into an interior when a lot of the style you're working with is like stone and wood kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So leaving the roof like that. Yeah, I just want to look at it all day. It's so nice. I love it. It reminds me of like actual big like cathedrals and stuff as well where they mm -hmm. have all the fancy paintings and art and things on the ceiling yes and... yeah no it fits in here perfectly and uh yeah I'll, I'll see it every time i come by for honeycomb so uh there you go i'll make sure yes, to make sure to put my anytime. shades on so i'm not d too dazzled by it yes please do please do <laughs> all right thanks for the visit pics Welcome to uh, Pixariffs' pop-up end shop. Can I be of assistance? Well, hello there. <laughs> uh, yes, I am looking for an end city, good sir. I, I heard you were, yes. And uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a couple of pieces of advice for you, but I can also offer to be your point man if you're interested in getting there a little quicker. Um, a lot of the, oh, absolutely. the inner cities have been raided a long time ago by that one guy who lives in the sky. Uh, <laughs> apparently he needs a lot of wings for stuff. So... <laughs> yes. um, yeah, I decided I could uh, pop out here while I got the time and help you out. I will scout ahead for you. If you want to head basically like in this direction straight this way, or did you have a another direction in mind? I was just looking to go outward from zero zero, so I think it's like this this direction here. Right. Okay. So you're kind of following the line of your gateway that you generated, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Cool. All right. Well, I will head off in a southeasterly direction. That seems to be the direction we're headed, and I will. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll be your point man. Hang on one sec, one sec, one sec. You need you need one thing, Pixel. You need to you need to wear this oh, when you're, when you're yes. looking. Absolutely. You gotta wear that when you're looking. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go with the wings just perfectly. Let's uh Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> not not quite Beautiful. As, not quite as big as that giant dragon head I've seen you rocking on Hermitcraft, but we'll uh, Oh yeah, that <laughs> one's pretty big. Yeah, that <laughs> one's is, overly massive. Yeah, a, a little sure. big, a little big. But uh yeah, we'll we'll see what we can find you. I've also brought you some spare fireworks, so just Cheers. in case you need any of those. I can, oh, uh... Look out, look out, look out, look out. Well. It's okay, I got it, I got it. I need the XP anyway, my Elytra <laughs> right, took a, a bit of a hit getting out here. Alright. Oh, nice. <laughs> here we go, to the skies. Right. He's off, he's off. <laughs> this is looking rough in terms of terrain. There's a lot of those little broken up islands, so I'm gonna try and stick to the bigger land masses just so it's a little easier to bridge to, but, uh... Yeah, there's some rough okay. patches of void yep. over here. So you weren't one of the, uh, lucky recipients of the Thunder God's Elytra then? No, no. I think uh, what happened is Green and Scar died. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he uh -huh. went back to spawn to get him, like at, during the initial, uh, uh, like when we first logged on. And so, yeah, he he took some elytra there, but then we moved on to Glimmer Grove to, to meet Catherine. Uh huh. Cool, cool. Uh, hence the giant axe that I've seen you rocking. I see. I see how it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, it's it an awesome axe. It any. Looks any it looks like we might be in luck. Yep, I've just found a perfectly intact end city. Dragon head, potion stand, everything is here. So uh, nice. I will hop nice. on the the intercom and give you the coordinates. This is at 1627, 2062. I'll pop that in chat for you as well. Okay, sweet. 1627, 2062. All right, sweet. That is the one. It's a kind of tiny end city, to be quite honest with you. I don't know if you'll get any other good loot, but you might find some good stuff in the chests. And I'm not going to touch them. They're all yours, all right. man. Awesome, dude. Yeah, thanks so much. Appreciate this. Yeah, this will help out a ton. Uh, yeah. I think I'm heading more or less in the right direction. Let's see. All right, buddy. Good luck. Uh, I'll throw you some more fireworks Sweet. so you can uh, take advantage of that elytra once you've got it. Cheers. But uh, you've got... Uh, let's see, I gotta... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there you go. That, that's the stuff. You've got to look the part. I think the dragon head gave me yeah. a, little, a little extra luck as well, so... Uh... Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate it. No worries. Good luck out there, and uh, I hope to see you flying by my place real soon. Yeah, yeah I hope so too. <laughs> see you soon, man. Take it Bye -bye. easy, Cub. <laughs> So in contrast to this kind of pristine emerald fountain on one side of the bridge, I now present its strange older brother, Crag. <laughs> At least that's what I've called him. I don't know quite why. The name Crag just kind of like bubbled up in my memory as I was 
building this. And so, from here and henceforth, he is known as Crag. And Crag's fountain, while it looks decrepit and aged, it's been around for quite a significant amount of time, and all the bushes around here are dead, even the facade of the fountain looks very worn. This contains some of the rarer items that I'm going to be offering out as prizes here. And if I take out this little copper block here, you will see that inside we have a variety of different things. Now, I decided against giving out a full netherite block for a couple of reasons. First of all, I thought back to my interaction with Impulse the other day and finding those deep slate emerald ores and realized that they did still occur in a vein of three. It seems unlikely that you'd find that many, but I kind of didn't want somebody to get three prizes out of this if one of them was going to be a netherite block. And I mean, hopefully they'd take that netherite block and split it up and maybe use it to gift some netherite ingots to other players, but in the end, I decided that a netherite ingot for a deep slate emerald ore seemed like a worthwhile trade. That's still four ancient debris and four gold. I've gone to some effort to get hold of that, and besides, I didn't really have enough gunpowder to get a whole bunch of TNT to mine enough ancient debris for a full block anyway. But the other items in here are definitely worthwhile. I think they're roughly equivalent to a netherite ingot as a prize. We've got a couple of Fortune 3 pickaxes with Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, and Mending, so those are going to be ideal pickaxes for somebody who is just getting started or wants a decent backup fortune pickaxe. We've got a trident in here that has loyalty, channeling, unbreaking three, and impaling. It is short mending and it's in a little bit of a poor state of repair, but hopefully somebody will be able to get hold of a mending book nice and easily. I've also put a helmet in here that was one of my backup helmets that has mending, aqua affinity, just needs respiration to be kind of the perfect diamond helmet. And this box here contains three stacks of each type of frog light, along with two golden apples. It only says one, but I kind of arranged them in a funky pattern in here, so I decided that there'd be at least enough stuff in there that people could get by on some frog lights and have a couple of extra golden apples in there as well. And compared to his brother on the other side of the bridge, Crag has a little bit of different redstone going on. Instead of spitting out multiple prizes per ore, he will only spit out one because he's not just distributing emeralds, he's distributing expensive prizes, and the redstone lamp in his eye will light up for a couple of seconds once somebody has thrown an emerald ore in there, a deep slate emerald ore that is, and any other items will just be rejected by the item filter and won't end up going down through that bit of mud in the center there. And to prove that this all works, we're going to track down that other piece of deep slate emerald that Impulse found on his caving trip and gave me the coordinates for, and then I'll toss it into the fountain to show you that it works. I'm definitely on Impulse's trail here. There's a crafting table and stuff left down here. There's a lot of mobs, but roughly at the join between deep slate and stone layer, Maybe about a uh, hundred blocks or so that way should be where we find the Deep Slate Emerald. This is looking promising. I know he left a bunch of torches around here. And there it is, a Deep Slate Emerald ore block. And we don't know, there could be more than one of them down here. So let's make sure we're using the Silk Touch pickaxe. It is just the one for now, and it does look like that is just one. Okay, so that's good news for me and my prize pool. But that is the fourth Deep Slate Emerald ore I have mined so far. I am pretty happy with that. And then, safely returned to Crag's Fountain, let's try throwing this in and see which prize we get. Oh, that is a netherite ingot right there. That's a netherite ingot for me. Very exciting. Well, to be honest, there are five netherite ingots in there. I might use this to convert one more of my diamond tools into netherite, but there will be five more in there as prizes. And I'm thinking about adding some other prizes as well. I got the sword. I'm not really happy with just having sharpness four and unbreaking three. I think it needs something else like looting or you know, a few other enchantments on it to really set it apart. But now if anybody else finds any deep slate emerald ore, they will know where to drop it off. And I'll make sure the rest of the server knows that Crag is here to gobble up their emerald ore and distribute some prizes. Well, folks, I think that's probably where we're going to wrap things up for this episode of Empire's SMP. I hope you've enjoyed a few interactions with the hermits, getting them settled in to their life here on Empires. And something tells me that we'll be seeing big things from them before we get the rift working and they can return home. In the meantime, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you folks soon. Take care, and bye for now.